It's alright. Yo guys, what is up? Max on Borderlands 3 video, and today we're going over the fastest Iridium farm for the Show Me the Iridium event. Now, this event only lasts for four more days and is increasing the amount of Iridium that is dropping. It's a little bit more complex than that, so we're going to break that down, but only four more days left of this event. So if you guys want to be farming crazy Iridium, now is a really good time to do so. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you find it informative. Let's get right into it. So the Show Me the Iridium event is a little bit more complicated than you get more Iridium from all sources because it doesn't apply to all sources. Now the multiplier is a 1.5 increase on affected sources. So for example, normal enemies are affected, they drop 1.5 times more Iridium or 50% more Iridium. However, badasses are not affected, bosses are not affected, but vault bosses are. So for example, Ruiner, a very popular Iridium farm, is not actually affected by this increase. Now, on this character, I currently have zero Iridium, so we can tell exactly how much Iridium uh, I get from this drop. But Ruiner, great boss to farm normally, you're not gonna be taking advantage of this, like, this event by killing Ruiner. So I wanna show you guys what the best things to do to take advantage of this event are. So let me just run around, get Iridium. And as you can see, we got 39 Iridium from this. Uh, I typically, from Ruiner, get around anywhere from 50 to 40. So that one's a little bit on the lower side. But as you can see, clearly not being affected by this. Now let's go to a target that is. So weirdly enough, only Vault bosses are affected by this. And only base game Vault bosses. So for example, Grave Ward is a Vault boss. We should see a 50% increase in Iridium uh, that typically drops from Grave Ward. So let's go ahead and get our kill here. Um... Almost a one shot. Not quite. That's okay. <laughs> we'll survive. Um, all right. We're starting at 39 Iridium. So let's see how much we get. There's our Iridium. As you can tell, like, it already just visually looks like we got a bunch. So there we got a little bit more than 60 Iridium versus the like 40 that we got from uh, Ruiner, which lines up perfectly with this 50% increase in Iridium. So if you're going to farm a boss, farm something like Grave Ward instead of Ruiner because you're just going to get more Iridium per kill. Now let's talk about the absolute best Iridium farm. So let's talk about the absolute best Iridium farm now, and that is the Cistern of Slaughter. The Cistern of Slaughter is so good because so many normal enemies spawn. Badass enemies, which, for example, there are a ton of in Slaughter Shaft, aren't affected by this event. So the Cistern of Slaughter for its high enemy density, normal enemies, and the fact that you still get a 500 block of Iridium after completing it is amazing. Now, the 500 block of Iridium is not affected by this event, but the enemies that are going to be spawning in it are. Now, it takes me around 10 to 12 minutes to run through a Cistern of Slaughter. And funnily enough, uh, you're going to want to be killing the enemies and running over the Iridium because there's going to be so many things dropping. Um, there are things that you can use to, like, increase your Iridium. However, like, they're not too important uh for example the mysterious artifact you can use for a slight chance of boosted iridium from like explosions you could use loot explosion with mayhem 10 and mayhem made mild um but the biggest thing is you're going to want to kill the enemies and then run over the iridium after you kill them because there's so many things uh that the iridium i think has a chance to despawn the reason i say this is because i did like a slow run through this um kind of taking my time on stream and i got 1600 iridium uh, from running through this and then I sped ran it with a nukem killing everything instantly just going as fast as I possibly could not really running around as much through all the iridium piles and I only got like around a thousand so like 600 iridium less so whatever build you're running if you can optimize it and still run around the piles you're going to be best off but the like where the real iridium is where the real money is is the last round on the last round which you can repeat if you kill the final boss tremendous rex and then fast travel back or jump off i recommend just fast traveling back which will restart the round you can repeat the final round over and over again i run the final round in about four minutes and i was netting around 946 iridium in four minutes aka 236.5 iridium per minute on doing the final round over and over again which is crazy and 236.5 times 60 if you're like super optimized and doing this quickly getting around 14,000 iridium per hour now obviously 
uh, this place is going to fill up with loot, and you're probably going to want to reset it uh, just because, like, your game is probably going to start lagging from the amount of loot that's going to be on the ground and all the things that are going to be happening. Uh, my game started to, so I wouldn't do this about, like, more than, like, five or four times before, like, just refreshing it. So 14,000 Iridium probably isn't quite accurate because that's, like, super fast. No resets. Everything's going smoothly. <laughs> no crashes. Um, but this is a super efficient farm. Get to the last round and then just repeat the last round over and over again. You're going to get 500 Iridium for killing the final thing. And I was getting around 400 uh, Iridium plus just killing the adds that are spawning during it. This is a super efficient farm. And if you're low on Iridium and want to have a ton for like re-rolling and all the things that are now required for Iridium, there is literally no other better time, guys. That is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch y'all in the next one. Happy farming. Peace. I was